Today morning, this guy says I will be in semi-final, yeah. and he was in semi-final. Yeah. Jasper Ivanov with us. Yeah. Jasper, it was very good race. What are you feeling? Last race of the season, and what's the plan at the summer? Uh, this was perfect for me. I'm really happy. Uh, my, my goal was to make it to the semi-final, like I told you. And I made it, and I'm really satisfied with that, because I've been in a difficult season, not being qualified for the World Championship. So I needed to do change the program, go back to Russia, practice, work harder. And when it pays off on an on event like this, on your home crowd, then it's fantastic that, that, I, that I did it. So I want to thank my team and my sponsors for, uh, for the good work. It's been chaos behind here. You, no one could see it, but it's been really chaos and still managed to do, to do great. So I'm really happy for that. And I want to thank you and all my fans and supporters who helped me and stay behind me and cheer me on. Thanks for that. And next year we move on and we will be in world, back in the World Championship and make many more semi-finals and maybe finals. Okay, good luck. And uh, maybe last question. Next year, we see you again in Russia in training camp or maybe in some team? Uh, we're we're going to go for that. Yeah. I hope so, because I like Russia and I, it's the best place for me to practice. Uh, it's like the mecca of the ice yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, you're going to see me there. So Not that to, 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 but... To следующего uh, года. To следующего года. Very good, thank you. I'm already thinking and looking forward to the next season. Ice Speedway Gladiators 2020. Let's prepare. The summer is almost finished, so the road racing team has been done. That's my job as team manager. So now, start preparing for the winter. Right now, middle of October, we got two empty chassis. So that means a lot, I repeat, a lot of work to do. On the rope with a chassis. No matter what happens, always keep smiling. Don't think about all the delays. Just wave and smile. Wave and smile. Think positive, then it always can turn out negative. That's the spirit. Ah. Some fresh engine. Good to go. Lovely, fresh horsepowers. Lovely job done by Marco Lori. Ready for the season? In style. Picking up some parts and directly snow white. Santa Claus is coming early this year. Massive thank you to Pitterline, driven by technology. Ready for season 2020. Look at that lovely new setup. Sorting out, sorted me out. It's gonna be Ferrari Red. Lovely. Jackie, Jackie, 
you still are here? Why are you still here? Huh? You're supposed to be in house. Oh yeah, you love the smell of painting, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, you love that, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is how I feel about making it. Deadline is getting close. I think it's time to hit the bed and tomorrow we have only one day. Uh, left uh, to uh, leave before we leave so stressing find myself a lovely lunch box with some salad to get some vitamins yeah. okay. an average day at the at the office new documents for Russia let's see if that's all right Doing a city walk through The Hague, picking up my visa. I'm officially allowed to get into Russia. Russia, давай, давай. I'm coming. Ready to leave. Ready. Ciao. Ciao. Just picked up my last engine. Now we are definitely ready to go. Let's rock to Russia. But first stop, Sweden. Having a quick power nap on the ferry to Denmark. Lovely setup. Power nap time. You can see what I see, but I start to feel a bit seasick. How is that even possible? It is a misty, foggy, a rainy day on the bridge from Denmark to Sweden. Oh, wait to check. Kilos too heavy, and I need to pay. That's a lovely start to the day, and a lovely start to the road trip. Cross the border from Denmark to Sweden over the bridge, and get pulled over by the police. The police checked everything, and then they checked my weight, and my weight was just a little bit too much. Just a little bit. To be honest, 84% too heavy. Luckily, not more than 100, because when you have 100% too heavy, you need to give your driver license. So there was only 150 kilos missing to reach that level. So 800 kilos too heavy, and I could uh, I could not get away with it because I need to pay 370 euros. Plus, I need to uh, I need to unload 800 kilos, which is mission impossible because I need everything in Russia. Then he said to me like, yeah, well, I have a lunch break at 11. If I wait till 11, which is four hours, I will miss my ferry. I'm still in the big shit. Then he said, I explained everything, and then he said finally. Um, cannot let me go but but there is a parking place park over there and I can't see you well, that sounds better so back on the road again to Stockholm to Helsinki to Russia bye bye made it in time at the harbor for uh, the ferry to Finland waiting for the ferry checking in it's like a like an airport one hour before check in passport control car control they are lovely incredible look at that 
This is just a boat, a ferry. It's a bit casino, man. It's so big, I don't even know where I need to go. I'm trying to find my, my hotel room or my ferry room. A little bit uh, complicated. I'm completely lost. I'm doing circles. You're looking for your room as well? Uh, yeah, 9304. Yeah, mine starts as well, but 93. Well, I'm not the only one who's lost. I would just gamble up there. It says Junior Suits. Very promising. Yeah, that's about it. I am being upgraded. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Nine three two four. On the other side of the very. Oh yeah, of course. Welcome in my room. A bed, which is screaming my name. It's a bit WD-40. What is the light? Oh yeah, you can shit straight into the sea. Well, that's my room. I already lost the Swedish, my Swedish colleagues um, because we get out of the ferry and guess what? Who get picked out? Yes, the Dutch, Dutch number plates is not always the best to have. They are always thinking the worst. So pick me out and deliver me uh, 30 kilometers further away uh, to do a scan, a car scan. So yeah, that was lovely. Back on my own again. No problem. There we are. Time to go across the border. I'm out of Finland. Let's continue into Russia. In waiting motors. <sighs> and the finished border is just on. Chuk, 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 chuk. Bomb. Job done. But here they don't they cannot read it. And that's why they don't know what to do. So, Holland, it's a perfect system. The canet, carnet, but it's not working in countries where they cannot read proper English. So, put a translation with it. Save, save me some time. Well, arrived in Russia. Did not take that long, only six, seven hours, almost, so it's not so bad. Um, yeah, first thing to find now is a SIM card, because without SIM card I have no navigation and I don't know the way, because I cannot read very well the signs over here. Нет, нет SIM card, нет, нет, плохо. Cannot really find any uh, SIM cards. So, it's completely on to my Russian. Let's just follow St. Petersburg, Moscow. Sounds good to me. Давай, давай, давай. I couldn't find a SIM card, but I did find those lovely night glasses from the Pearl. Okay, and now we are ready to hit the roads of Russia in the dark. Night Rider with a yellow fighter. Just to help him a bit. I love empty highways. Cruise control time it is.
Moscow. Doing a quick uh, pit stop. Time for winter tire. Really, really fast pit stop. I love it. Russia, Moscow, Spazio. And she is ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. Давай, поехали. Probably you cannot really see it, but maybe you can hear it. The road is uh, just a little bit bumpy. Hope on the end of the road. What's the suspension is still, ain't it? I think you're gonna have a broken car. To be fair, the first, the first bump in, you hit in. Oh no! The first bump you hit in Russia always hurts. Hurts your feeling. But then, once the first one is done, it doesn't matter anymore. That was a lovely idea from me, myself, and I take that shortcut. I think I just found a hard way to hell. Just when you think that was it, it starts all over again. You can hear it. That's the rope. I went, oh no, yeah. That was a good joke. This is a very good cross. Oh, and by the way, not talking about just a couple kilometers. Okay, fair play. Everyone said like, don't take that road, it's really bad, it's bumpy. Fair play, it is bumpy. But why is it bad? I love the road. I mean, it is adventure. It is uh, out of the comfort zone. It is focus. This ferry motocross, it's exciting. And best of all, it's almost impossible to fall asleep on. So, what's the problem, boys? It's just a highway to hell, just rock here. Rock here. It's a little shakedown before the high season starts. This is my road. I love it. I do it my way. Thumbs up! <laughs> oh my god, I only just realized now that I'm always taking this road. This hobbly bobbly road. But it was dark, so I did not recognize it directly. But now, we are a couple of hours later, uh, this is my favorite part of the, uh, of the road. Because normally it's snowing in ice and it's like da -da 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 -da, and you're trying to hit the nice nice line so it not bump too much so hell yeah i always go this road this road also shares the same kind of feeling like last time the feeling that you think yeah we're almost there it cannot take much longer and then it still takes you another 12 hours that's no motivation no bueno, not harasho, no good. Now it disappeared, the first seeing snow is a fact. Welcome in Russia Wonderland. There has been a traffic accident, so using the time in the meanwhile, what? Cleaning the windows. Get that do it out. Almost 80 hours later, I arrived in destination. Let's call it a night and let's call it the start of the train this week. Kamensk Uralsky. I arrived in Kamensk Uralsky and I gonna Hit myself on that bed. She's screaming out my name. Oh, and gone I am. 
wake me up in two days.